Hey guys, I have a new project I've been working on. Uh, this time it's a Direct2D overlay. And it's basically a transparent window that goes on top of other windows and you can draw graphics onto it. And uh, I designed it because I, um, when I'm using my image scan class, a lot of times I want to know like visually where things are. And uh, I did have a GDI overlay, but um, it's uh, not always the best, especially when overlaying um, games. It can, it can really hit the performance. But Direct2D doesn't really have that issue. It's a lot faster, and even though it's a little bit different to use, I think I've made it in such a way that, that you, as uh, either a newcomer or um, an advanced user on hockey, will have no problems uh, using it yourself. Uh, so I have some demos here that I've already done, and they'll be included in the GitHub as well, so you'll be able to run exactly what I have here. Uh, and then at the end, I'm gonna I'm gonna create one from scratch to show you kind of how the process would be. But I'll start with the first one here, which is a, a general one, and uh, this um, black text that appears up here is the overlay, but it's a static one. It's not attached to anything yet, and you can specify the position, the width, uh, like this, without having to attach it to a window if you want to use it that way. But uh, from here, I'm going to press F1 to attach it. And now it's um, basically stuck to this window. It will move with it. It will size with it. it it's basically um, always going to be on this window now. If it goes in the backgrounds, it will go away. Although you can change that to always have it shown no matter what if you want to. And then if it gets uh, minimized, it goes away as well. And uh, oops, actually it's this one. So you can also um, change it anytime you want. You can put it on different windows. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, notepad one, yeah, same thing. So it's pretty cool. Um, one thing I can show you in this as well is, uh, uh, let me press escape, turn that off. Um, when you specify attached to window here, the second parameter is uh, to attach it to the client area, which for games, a lot of times this is much more useful. So I put that as one and I run it again and I press F1. Um, it it, it uh, shows the client area, which is this red uh, rectangle here. The uh, area above it is part of the window area, so uh, it doesn't show that. And this is how most games are set up. You don't want the title bar. So that's very, very convenient. But um, you don't need to do it like that. So this one, the, the client area is the entire screen, which is which is not too bad. For Notepad, uh, again, it's um, just this area. So I'll go ahead and close out of that one. And we'll get to the next one, which is just um, just for fun, really. Something you can do for fun. And this is little little trail on your mouse. Every time you move it, it uh, creates a bunch of little colored circles that move around. And um, this is one I think a lot of people have fun with messing with. Um, because you can, you can obviously change it to whatever you want. So if I go to here, uh, on line 48 is where all the parameters are set up. And uh, it's it's just using a simple class, so you can see right here, it, it takes X, Y, size, color, direction, speed, friction, um, how much uh, the direction changes, um, and then uh, the alpha. And if I say come here and I do 13 and 55, then the, uh, the dots will be much bigger, as you can see. And um, if I go to, say, uh, here, I think, is the speed of it. So I can do 2 and, say, 4. They'll be really fast now. Yeah, they just go, they scatter all over the place now. So if you move really slow, they don't move too much. But if you move fast, they go way faster. But that's a cool little, uh, just a little one for fun. Um... I'll go ahead and close that. So anyway, uh, let's say you have a game or you have an application and you want to incorporate both um, image scanning and the, the overlay to work together. Well, it's really, really easy. And I have a simple starter script set up here, which is just including the classes and creating two instances of those classes. So, um, the overlay class, you can specify the first four parameters as X, Y, width, or height, or the first parameter as uh, a title. And if you do that, it'll automatically attach, otherwise it will create its own static overlay. So here I have both my scanning and overlay attached to the same window, which is Runelight. And uh, I'll go into the draw here, and I'll show you how it will start. So first we'll check 
Uh, well, I want an image to check actually, so I'm gonna go into the health bar here, and I'm just gonna take this little section here. I'm gonna save that as a HP bar. Just call it HP bar. I'll go ahead and close that. So if I come now to here, I'll do um, HP bar equals scan dot image HP bar dot PNG. Uh, no transparency, and I want the XY returns. So if I do that, I'll do a tooltip here. So this is how I would I would normally do it. And I'll go ahead and run that. And yeah, this is how I would normally do it. And it's like, okay, so this is the XY position. It's not super helpful. It tells me where it's at, but you know, it's like I, I would want something better. And that's where the, the overlay class comes in. So we don't even need that anymore. So now, instead of doing a tooltip, I'll do uh, if overlay dot begin draw. You have to always call begin draw before you can draw. That's just how Direct 2D works. So the the reason that there's an if statement here is because when you're attached to a window, you want to know is the window in focus? Is it minimized? Um, are the is the size correct? This function takes care of all of that. So if it returns true, then then the window is in the foreground. It's um, it's already been set to the correct size, and you're good to go. So another thing is, it always has to end with end draw. So as long as you have it looking like this, you're good to go. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say if HP bar. So if the image was found, then let's draw uh, let's draw a line to it. So we'll do overlay dot draw line, and we'll start it at uh, x and y, so the health bar x and y, and then um, let's draw it to the mouse. So let's do another function here. Let's do let's do if health bar and overlay dot get mouse position, and we'll do mouse x, oops, mouse x, mouse y, and we'll say. Um, if the, if the image was found and the mouse is in the window, then let's draw the line. And we'll do from the image XY to the mouse XY, draw a line. And we'll make that line uh, red, because it's an easy color to see. And if I reload that now, and it doesn't do anything right now, because begin draw has failed because the window is not in the foreground. So the second I go in the, uh, put it in the foreground, it's drawing. And you can see it draws a line right to that health bar, which is pretty cool. Um, now, if I if I want to do something even a little bit cooler with that, I know that the health bar is 30 by 5, so I can do overlay dot draw uh, rectangle, and I will put it at the health bar x and y. And uh, oh, another thing I should mention. Um, by default, scan image returns the uh, the X and Y results centered on the image. So if you put a zero at the end there, uh, that will tell it to not center it. So it'll always be in the top left, which is useful in this situation here. So now I will draw the rectangle at the X and Y position, top left of the image that was found. And I will make the width 30, the height 5, and I'll give it uh, a red color as well. And now, if I, oh, I guess I do have that set up. So now it might be hard to, to see, but uh, there's a red rectangle there. I can actually increase the thickness of it. And I mean, it covers it up completely now, basically. But um, maybe two will be a little bit easier to see. That should be a little bit easier to see, but it is covering the uh, health bar up completely. Well, not completely, but around the, the edges. And since we have draw a line in here, let's draw a line uh, from all four corners of the screen onto the four corners of the health bar, because I think that would look kind of cool. So we'll do, um, this one's fine already. This is going to draw from top left to top left. We'll just copy the rest of it. So the next one, I want to draw top right of the health bar. So that'll be the X position plus 30. The Y is fine. And it will be from the overlay dot width and zero so let's test these one at a time as we do them so oh that's not quite right i put in uh my mouse position not the health bar position whoops oh let's have these ones too really quick 
but yeah, there we go. So those are drawing top right to top right, top left to top left. So now let's add the bottom ones. So uh, we'll take the XY of the health bar. We'll do X plus 30, Y plus five. And we're drawing it to the overlay dot width and overlay dot height. And that will be the um, bottom right to bottom right. The last one we need is the bottom left to bottom left. So we'll do zero uh, overlay dot height into the X position of the, the bar and then Y plus five. And that should cover all corners, which it does. So as you can see it, uh, no matter how you move it, it's always drawing it right to the health bar. And if I do this, it draws just fine. I think it wasn't finding the image because uh, the hit splat was coming over every now and then. Oh, actually, no, it's not that. It's because uh, I still have the uh, mouse position set up, but we're not using that anymore, so I'll go ahead and get rid of that. Now it, it just cares to see if the um, image was found. So, there, that fixed that. But, yeah. Doesn't matter what it looks like, it'll always find it and always draw to it. So it's pretty cool. Um, another cool thing you can do is say there's an element you want to find on the screen. Uh, let's say this little health bar here that moves. So I'll go ahead and save that as a hat. And go add that. So I'll move this up here out of the way. Let's say if uh, hat, that's what the scan is going to be, which we'll put right here. Say hat equals scan.image hat.png. And it's going to be a very similar thing. We're going to have no uh, variance. And then we're going to turn hat x hat y. And uh, we want that one centered. So on hat, we'll do overlay dot draw ellipse, which an ellipse is a circle, but it can have its width and height different. So it, it's like squished, you know? So it gives you, it's, it's a little bit better than draw circle. And we want it to be at um, the hat x hat y position. And we'll say 15 for the radius of width and height. We'll give it a color of green. And let's actually copy that. And the one above it will be black and we'll give it a thickness of three. That way it has a black border. And if I reload and come in, you can see right there, it's tracking that little, that little icon as it goes up. And um, let's say we wanted to draw a little bar from this, this little experience window here to the thing, just for fun. So what I would do is find the position of this. So it looks like it's 64 pixels down. So I'll go into here and I'll do overlay dot draw line. And I want it to be at the hat X position, but I want it to start from 64 because that's where, that's where this is up here. So we'll do from there to there. And then we want the next position to be also a hat X. And then um, we want it to be at the hat Y, but negative 15, because we want it to actually be attached to the circle and the circle has a radius of 15. So that'll work there. Uh, and then if we do, um, the color here, we can put in green as well, so it looks like it's the same thing. And if we reload that, and there you go. You got a little line that kind of like spider webs it up. So it's kind of cool. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's definitely some cool stuff you can do. Uh, you could do something like um, checking if like the inventory is open, for instance. Uh, so if we went down here, you would do like uh, this right here. And I'll save that as inventory. And it's, you know, it's it's a very similar thing. So we'll say inventory equals scan dot image. Inventory dot PNG. Uh, inventory X, inventory Y. And then we'll we'll do very, very similar things here. So if inventory was found, and we'll do overlay dot uh, draw rectangle. And we'll put it at, uh, let's, okay, here's a new function actually. This is something I only recently added to my, uh, to my class, but you can do scan.getImageDimensions. 
an input, input image, which is, um, uh, what do I call that? Inventory dot PNG. And then we'll get the inventory width, inventory height. And we'll specify here in the scan image that we want the top left corner returns. And now we have the width and the height through the program, so you don't have to remember what it is and hard code it. And then we'll do overlay draw rectangle at inventory X, inventory Y, inventory width, inventory height. We'll make it uh, pure black. And then uh, we'll give it a, a thickness of two. So now if I reload that, uh, it's really hard to see actually, but it is down there. Uh, let me change that to white actually. So if I reload it now, then there you go. So you got a white little border there. And uh, we can take this and do instead fill rectangle and uh, same exact parameters, except this time I'm going to fill it with a transparent black pixel. So we'll do like uh, transparency 99. It's um, it's like uh, near the high end, but it's it, you're going to see uh, some transparency behind it. Uh, fill does not take a, a thickness parameter. And if I reload that, now it's uh, it's like a dark filled rectangle there, so it's pretty cool. And uh, if I get out of that, the image isn't found anymore, so it goes away. If I go in, so it's a really quick way to know if, if your inventory is open or whatnot. But uh, it's really that easy to incorporate into your games. As you can see, it's, uh, the workflow is really simple. Um, you can use it in many other different ways. Like, for instance, if I did like... Um, well, another thing as well is you don't have to do this the images before you draw. But it might be more efficient to do it that way, but you don't have to. So if I come in here, I can do if scan dot pixel, and we'll look for a red pixel, and then a no variance uh, px py. So if we find that pixel, then let's do overlay dot draw line, and we'll start from the top left, and we'll go to px py, and we'll give it a color of white. That way, it's easy to see, and a thickness of two. Why not? And now if I rerun it, it found a red pixel all the way over here, and it drew a line right to it. And as you can see, as I rotate my map around, um, the way that the scanning works is it goes uh, left to right, top to bottom. And so this red pixel, even though it's further to the right, it's higher up, and that has priority. So once it gets lower, it then instead finds a red pixel here. But if I, if I cover that up, then as you can see, it's changing. So... Just, uh, yeah, it's that easy. So I hope you guys find uh, some use in this. And like I said, it's going to be, um, the link to it is going to be in the description. It's a GitHub project. So I'm going to have the examples in there. And uh, if you have questions um, or if there's errors, please let me know on GitHub if you're able to open a discussion or an issue. And because uh, I check that every day, I'll, I'll, get, I'll get to that. If you have more personalized problem or or you need help outside of that, you can add me on Discord. I'll leave a, um, uh, a pinned comment with my Discord ID. And uh, I check there daily as well. And uh, I really don't mind helping, so if you have any problems, let me know and I'll try and help you through it. Uh, another thing to to know is that I'm, I'm not a professional program. I just do this for fun. It's more of a hobby for me. So if, if you run into problems, you know, I'll try and help. I can't guarantee I'll be able to fix it. I, I don't know everything. I only learned direct 2D to this extent recently. Uh, so I'm still learning, you know. And uh, also I wanted to give a shout out to Tea Drinker on the forums who helped me with some parameters. And uh, I was uh, I was losing my mind trying to figure that out. I, could, I just couldn't figure it out. And uh, he was like, yeah, there it is. So that was really, really cool. And uh, that's pretty much it. So again, hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know if there's issues and uh, I will catch you guys later.